Rebellion. Tributes. Mocking Jay. What do you think about when you hear those words? Well, I don't know about you, but there's this one movie series in my head that pops up when I think about those three words. Even with just one word alone, I really can't help but think about the Hunger Games trilogy. With the first book written in 2008 by Suzanne Collins, I actually read all of the three books and when I first heard about a movie adaptation, well, it completely took my breath away. And to my delight, the movies did not disappoint at all. Although there were some that didn't connect, the movies surely felt so authentic that they made me fall in love with the complexity of each character. From Mockingjay herself to Effie Trinket and to all the characters in the film, it was just a masterpiece. And with that said, let's dig deeper into the Hunger Games and how it is relevant in the world of money making. But before we pierce right through the gist, I would just like to give you a little disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor so better take all my advice with a pinch of salt and take only what can be applied to you. I do my very best in telling you the latest information in terms of financial management. But if you are experiencing serious problems, that is the time to seek out services by professionals and experts to help you out with what you're facing. Welcome to the Quantum Wealth, where the road to success begins. Before starting with the video, please like and subscribe to the channel and comment below with your thoughts on today's video. Anyway, this video is going to contain all the details of what I learned from watching The Hunger Games. Aside from the intense plot, the amazing sceneries, the breathtaking costumes, and the awesome dialogue, the ones that captured my heart greatly were the characters. This is not just a story of Katniss, but it's a story of so many characters centered around the games and their rebellion against the capital. And without a further ado, let's talk about the five characters from the films that are highly relevant in the finance world. At number 5, Johanna Mason, District 7. When I first saw Johanna, she seemed crazy, to be completely honest with you. I mean, she was so angry and vicious that everything already seemed out of place. But later on, we saw from the second installment, Catching Fire, that her anger came from a valid place. She was angry with a capital. Now when you think about it, Johanna was not angry, not literally. But she was fierce, passionate, and bold and this made her a key figure in the attempt to overthrow the capital. I strongly believe that everything can be achieved if driven by a sufficient amount of passion with a bold mind and a fierce heart to accomplish everything you ever dreamed of. This was the case for Johanna, and I want you to apply this in your own life as well. There is no room for dilly-dallying if you wish to attain financial success as soon as possible. Therefore, always be fierce in everything that you do, most especially in handling your finances. Always strive for the best and simply just give it your all, whether you're starting a business or going into a new job. At number 4, Hamish Abernathy, District 12. Hamish was introduced in the movies as Katniss and Peeta's primary mentor. Now, I had really high hopes for Hamish before he was seen on screen. But when he was revealed, we saw how he was drunkard who never took anything seriously. Somehow, I judged him too quickly. My mind immediately changed when I saw how eager he was in forming Katniss and Peeta to be fully prepared for the upcoming Hunger Games. Yes, he may have seemed not serious at first, but as the film progressed, Hamish's true color prevailed, and truly, he was an amazing mentor. Hamish was a man of street smarts and a good sense of relationships. He was able to gain sponsors for Katniss and Peeta during the 74th Hunger Games, and this was a really huge for our victors to prevail and eventually win. Just like Hamish, you two should harness your emotional quotient so as to become a person with effective street smartness. The world of finance is all about the connections, the shortcuts, and the easy way out. There's always an alternative to everything that will help you keep the ball rolling more easily. You should do this so that your money will not suffer great losses, and at the same time, you will not exhaust yourself at all. At number 3, Finnick O'Dare, District 4. There are no other words to describe Finnick but charming. I admit, he truly was and this made him one of the most loved characters from the movie overall. We saw how he was of great influence to those that follow him, and we also saw how he was able to move people with his natural charm and alluring personality. A lot of girls back in high school used to say how they were massively falling in love with Finnick, and honestly, you really can't blame them. Anyway, what is it about Finnick and being charming and relevant in the finance world? Well, that's everything. Like I told you a couple of seconds ago, the world of finance entails all the success and easy way outs. And with connections, you can do this in as easy as one, two, three. 
How else are you going to achieve effective connections with powerful people other than charm, right? Sure, money does a trick, but if you don't have a humongous amount of money just yet, then you can charm your way up to the top of the ladder of success. Try to converse with influential people and see how they make up their words and how they talk, like Finnick for example, and then master this trait and apply it in your own life. At number 2, Pita Millark, District 12. Our Half Victor. Sharing the win with Katniss in the 74th Hunger Games, Pita proves that he is not a puppy at all. He had intensive combat skills, was very fast, and is very talented at escaping from enemies. But what really stands out for Pita is his gentle nature. Somehow, he is a perfect complement for Katniss, whose traits I will discuss later on. Now, don't get me wrong, being gentle does not mean having a weak, soft, and faint heart. That's not the case with Pita at all. I mean, We all knew how he was able to overcome the tortures from the capital, but in spite of going through such horrors, he remained his gentle self. Anyway, being gentle will surely grant you ultimate success in the finance world. You can manifest your gentle self along with your charisma and surely you are going to make stronger connections in no time. Treat everyone as a potential investor and with a gentle approach and a charismatic personality, You are going to entice individuals and groups to help you rise above and attain financial success. Lastly, at number one, Katniss Everdeen, District 12, the girl on fire, the Mockingjay, the face of the rebellion. Katniss was a force to be reckoned with. She knew no bounds in exerting her power. She even showed no fear against the capital president Coriolanus Snow, and this made her the main character. Without a single doubt, Katniss was a perfect epitome of courage, and that's what you should have in ensuring your financial freedom. Do not be afraid to take risks in the world of finance. When dealing with investments, always do some research before you pursue one and of course, harness the ability to have a strong gut. Calculate all the benefits and the consequences, and once you have weighed everything in place, then go for it. This is what you call a calculated risk. You can never reach the stars if you just stay glued to the ground. So, be courageous when dealing with your finances and in turn, you are going to be successful. The future is all in your hands. That wraps up today's video. We hope you find this video helpful. And if you like today's video, please like and subscribe to the channel. See you at the next one.